The occasion is an audience with the delegation of the Tijaniya Shura Council, the leadership of an Islamic sect. President Muhammad Buhari takes the moment to give an insight into the working of his government to continue reviewing interventions and projections on how best to secure the country and its economy. A statement from the President's Senior Special Assistant, Gerber Shehu, quotes President Buhari as saying, his administration will work harder to improve on gains recorded in securing the country from terrorists and criminals and ensuring that Nigerians enjoy a better livelihood by stabilizing the economy. President Buhari also says Nigeria's unity is strong and must be sustained. This assurance is coming a day after the National Security Council says it is concerned by the stockpiling of weapons by some individuals. The president's guests say they stand with him in the quest for a peaceful Nigeria. To pray for the economy of Nigeria, to pray for the goodwill of Nigeria, to pray for security of Nigeria. We have the conviction that there is no permanent solution to the Nigerian problem than prayer. The 54th president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, also led a delegation and a courtesy call. The institute praised the giant strides of the administration in spite of many challenges. While pledging their support, they expressed confidence that Nigeria will be restored to its rightful place in the Committee of Nations. We support government in introducing voluntary access income declaration and also the recent executive order on voluntary offshore access regularization and hereby offer to help in any capacity necessary to ensure a successful outcome. The chartered accountants made several recommendations to government. I can uh, honor uh, the two recognized by law in this country. We have adequately catered for all fees and aspects of accounting profession. To create other associated bodies is to trivialize professionalism. This is not in the public interest. This visit is coming less than two weeks after the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria visited the presidential villa with a pledge to helping governments fight against corruption. From the presidential villa, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.